Hello everyone and welcome to another Spaz Tech tutorial. Uh, I've been looking at some of the comments uh, on my uh, adding a background image to Blender tutorial and some of uh, some people are having problems uh, seeing the image. Uh, I have to admit I've had the problem myself on occasion and so I'm going to go over a few things you can check to uh, try to troubleshoot that problem. So first of all uh, I'm going to uh, uh, import this image of this uh, pina colada here. Uh, it's one of my favorite summertime drinks. And uh, we're going to load it into this, this Blender scene. And uh, like I said in uh, my uh, other video, uh, we can just go over here, click Add Background Images, Add Image. And uh, the part that uh, you need to pay a little bit of attention to is which Access the view the image is going to get loaded to so you have some different choices there and uh, Let's just pick this one for instance and open our uh, the image and I've got it over here somewhere and uh, Let's let's load this here So uh, nothing happened. I don't see it. Um, and if I flip through my my views, it does not show up. So there's a right view. There's a front view. Right view. Top view. It's not there. Uh, that's because I have put it in the left view. And to get to the left view, you can go over here, and you can see left, or uh, it's control numpad 3 so control 3 ah and there it is so you have to be in the right view uh, that's uh, most of the time I found that that's the problem um, at, uh, during the the first video I had on this topic uh, I suspected that the, the image size had something to do with it but uh, I've been playing around with it and I don't think that's the case uh, this is a full-size image I took it with my iPhone it's about a 3 megabyte image uh, let's go over here and finder it's a uh, uh, 2448 by 3264 megapixels uh, I've created a few different sizes I've played with them and they all work uh, so this is a 5% of the original image um, it's 122 by 163 megapixels, and we're going to import that just, just so I can show you that that, that should work as well. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and uh, get rid of that, and I'm going to add the other one. This time I'm going to set it to all views. Uh, and uh, so you can see that, or you can set it to camera, for example, uh, but I'm going to set it to all views and open that. Uh, get pictures and uh, this is the the small one I was just talking about I'll go ahead and open that and you see it works uh, so the size of the image doesn't seem to uh, make a difference um, and uh, it's just you know, might not want to use this one because it's uh, it's stretched out and it's, it's kind of blurry there uh, but uh, now now if I flip to different views since I have it set to all views it shows up on in all views and you can see what your view is up here in this corner here um, one thing I noticed that it only shows up in up in the ortho view it does not show up in a perspective view uh, so if I hit a uh, numpad 5 go to perspective um, it doesn't show up you can see front view ortho it shows up front view perspective it does not um, there might be a way to, to get it to show up there I'm not sure but uh, that's one thing just to check on uh, so uh, I guess by default it goes to the ortho view um, and uh, and that's about it so uh, if I uh, if I uh, press down my right middle mouse button and try to rotate this, you can see it goes away as soon as I do that. You have to be in one of the direct views for the background image to show up. It will not show up in uh, a view like that. Um, the only, only exception might be is if you are able, if you align your camera and you load it to the camera view. So uh, that's about it. Uh, if you continue to have problems, post a comment and uh, I'll see if I can figure it out for you. Uh, thanks a lot and talk to you next time.